law was a term that was created during Prohibition. A Boston newspaper put out a contest. People who make illegal alcohol are bootleggers. What do we call people who drink them? So the winner was scoff law. Scoff, they scoff at the law. I think it somewhat fits our personality and the way we do business and the way we brew our beer. The other side. True love never dies. You know, we have two locations here in Atlanta. This is our research facility where we kind of try out some new recipes, new um, innovations, new products, new things, just to kind of get some customer feedback. We have a lot of our core beers here as well as a lot of new things that you can't get anywhere else. This location is definitely more of like see how everything is done, see the brewery, meet all the brewers, all that stuff, whereas the works is much more of a relaxed vibe. I think Scofflaw's beers are unique, um, you know, really just because of who we have making them. We, we all kind of have some inputs on what we want to do, what we want to make. We, we really concentrate on what people want to drink. Sometimes having regular customers go, man, I sure could use a Doppelbach to drink. I'm like, we don't make a Doppelbach. Well, hey, we'll make it over to works. Or, or giving, giving some creative freedom to our brewers so that they don't get just kind of bogged down by making the same beers over and over. It's kind of letting them have the ability to express themselves and make different cool things. Scofflaw has an ever-changing tap list. I feel like there's something new every time I come here. We have a lot of different options, and not just beer, so I would start there, see what um, kind of someone's looking for. Um, and then I'd probably steer them, depending on that, maybe towards our, our basement light. It's a really refreshing, easy drinking beer. Um, we seem to be a go-to for a lot of us here. If they weren't a beer drinker, we have lots of seltzers, we do slushies, we, we've got something for everyone. I came here to Scofflaw today with a friend who's visiting from Milwaukee. Milwaukee's famous for beer, but we're famous for Scofflaw. <laughs> it's a great place to gather. My friends are here, folks who know from the neighborhood are here. It's a short walk from, from home, and the beer is phenomenal. You can come here with a big group of people, you can come here um, just to hang out and have a couple beers, so the vibe's very chill. And there's things to do, there's activities outside with the green space that we have here, there's a food hall that really lets people come in and out, get some food, come in and grab some beers. I come to Scofflaw two to three times a week. The people that work here are fantastic. Their beer is really, really good, and it's, it's almost like a neighborhood bar type feel, even though it's a brewery and a tasting room. Dr. Scofflaw, it's kind of like, to me, it's like the centerpiece of the works. Our tasting room manager, our tasting room employees, our brewers, our packaging people, we come to these places a lot and we take time and we walk around and sit and talk to people. We, you know, one of the reasons we got in this business is so we had more time to spend with our families. We, we, want it, we want it to be a place that you can come, have a beer, let your kids have places to run around and have fun. I think our customers come back, you know, just for the experience that they get in our tap rooms. Um, we, we offer a lot of unique beers that they can't get somewhere else. Um, we're a really good atmosphere for, for everyone and there's always something new to try.